world to promote American prosperity, enhance American security, and extend American influence. So was it a certain part of the world or all parts of the world? It was a broad North discussion. Did North Korea come up? I, I'm not going to get into the specifics of detailed conversation. A finer point on Mueller. Um, the president said if he does investigate his or the family's finances, that's crossing a red line. There's a report today that Mueller is investigating a broad range of the family's financial transactions. If that report is true, then he has crossed the red line. Does that mean he fires him? Uh, again, as I said earlier, uh, the president has no intention to do so at this Even time. Even if he crosses the red line, so the red line doesn't mean anything. That's, that's not what I said. Um, you know, I don't believe what everything I read in the paper. We'll have to see as we get more details on but that. But he said that. Sure. It's on audio. He said that's crossing a red line. That's not something you read in the paper. You can I'm talking to the about audio. the, the uh, investigation looking into the finances. The true, president's been clear many times before that he has no financial dealings whatsoever with Russia. The point the president's making is that the investigation should stay within the uh, confines of um, meddling, Russia meddling in the election and nothing beyond that. Yeah. I, I'm not going to get into that. How does the president expect loyalty uh, from his aides, from his, from his from members of his cabinet when he's constantly criticizing them and undercutting them and contradicting them in particularly media outlets that he constantly tries to discredit? Uh, I don't believe that the president is uh, undermining them. I think he was being very candid about feelings that he had, but as I said, he has confidence in his ability. April. Sarah, Sarah, how does the process play out when the president is very candid about what he thinks about his attorney general, about what he thinks about um, Mueller? How does this process play out? I'm, I'm sorry, what? The investigation. The investigation, the whole process of relationships between Sessions and the president. Uh, the process of this investigation <coughs> by Mueller. How does this play out with the president being very um, upset of the process and openly criticizing everyone and people in fear. I think it's pretty clear how the process will turn out from our side is that uh, this will be proven to be the witch hunt that it is and that nothing further will happen. Do you, Trey? Two more questions. Two so more. Just, yes, two more. Um, is, is, there, is a belief that the conversations with the New York Times or whatever reporters are, are, are pieces of intimidation to go to Mueller, to go to Sessions. What do you say to that? I think that's ridiculous. And, and Third last, question. And then lastly, Baltimore. Does the president regret what he said about Baltimore? He threw Rosenstein under the bus for the wrong city. Uh, he's not from Baltimore, he's from Philadelphia. And there, and in People in Baltimore saying there are a lot of Republicans there, even though the city is led by a Democratic mayor. I think he was making a general statement, Trey. But it was wrong. The statement was wrong. Uh, he he's spent a lot of time uh, and has uh, worked pretty extensively in Baltimore. Has Trey. President Sarah. Trump spoken with the Attorney General in the past 24 hours? No, not that I'm aware of. Uh, in a follow-up, does he reg regret appointing Jeff Sessions to be his Attorney General? Uh, I don't believe so. I think if he did, then he probably wouldn't be in that position. A quick one on Afghanistan policy. Following his meeting this morning at the Pentagon, is the president any closer uh, to an unveiling an, a policy towards Af Afghanistan? And should the American people expect uh, that we will be sending more troops to the region? As I said earlier, the president David. has empowered Secretary Mattis uh, in that front, and I would direct you to the Department of Defense. Can, can, can we just reconcile what you just said? He said the president does not regret appointing Jeff Sessions, yet he said in that interview with the New York Times that he does regret it because had he known what he was going to do before he appointed him, he would have said, sorry, Jeff, I'm going to get someone else. I think... Um, I just wanted how you come to the, those two thoughts. Sorry, I may have misunderstood what Trey was asking. Uh, my he understanding... My question was, does the president regret appointing Jeff I'm sorry, Sessions. I thought you asked if he regretted not taking action to remove Jeff Sessions. So does he regret appointing Jeff Sessions? The president has spoken very clearly um, on this in the interview yesterday. And as he said, he was disappointed that the attorney general made the decision to recuse himself and certainly uh, that he didn't tell him that before taking the job. But he also said, had he told him that, he wouldn't have appointed him. So does he regret now, in retrospect, I haven't asked session. him specifically if he does that. Uh, thank you, sir. Um, I was trying to know. Um, when asked about Mueller today a couple of times, you've used conditional language. 
that he doesn't intend to, it's at this time. How can his independence be guaranteed if you're saying in the conditional tense that he's not going to try to have him removed? Look, I mean, I can't predict everything that could possibly take place in the future and what Mueller could potentially do that might create uh, outrageous you know, reason not to take action. So I, I'm not gonna talk about hypotheticals. I can talk about where we are today, and that's the position of the president. Yes. Um, you've been asked multiple times today about the war in Afghanistan. Both times you referred us to the Defense Department, but President Trump is still the commander in chief. Does he take full responsibility for whatever happens on the conflict in Afghanistan? Uh, I would think so, but again, he has empowered Secretary Mattis in terms I've been asked specifically about um, troop levels and decisions uh, on specific instances. And in that regard, I would refer you to the Department of Defense. John. Thank you, Sarah. You um, spoke earlier about, apparently, about confidence in General Sessions staying there. Does the president have the same confidence? and lack of regret in naming Ron Brownstein Deputy Attorney General. Mr. Brownstein the Rosenstein. Rosenstein. I don't know who that guy is, but so I'm not going to speak about him, but uh, Rod Rosenstein, uh, as, as I stated, if the president didn't have confidence, he wouldn't be in that position. Guys, I hate to cut us short today, but the president has, hold on, I'm not finished. The, the president has an announcement that he'll be making here shortly. And uh, no. Uh, here at here at the White House, and so uh, I'm going to cut it short today. Thanks, guys. What's he doing with his paycheck, Is Sarah? Is he watching the OJ parole hearing? <laughs> 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 <laughs>